Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing Thai visa extensions and 90-day reporting. And specifically, this video is on the topic of the conflation or the confusion about extending one's visa and whether or not the process of just applying for an extension is, is considered the same thing as a 90-day report. And what I'm talking about specifically, and I've actually dealt with this when I was still dealing with my visas, was you'd go in and you would happen to, your extension date would happen to fall around the same time as your 90-day reporting, which makes sense because it happens quarterly and you know, you're know you going in there to, to deal with your extension and you just kind of presume, well, I've reported to you, I've applied for this extension, doesn't that, isn't that the same thing? And a recent commentary, commentator, if you will, someone who wrote a letter into the Bangkok Post post bag in the Bangkok Post print edition, December 19th, 2020, it's titled Immigration Games, and it was written by someone calling themselves Farang's Anonymous. There was a, so quoting directly, of course, the 90-day report unit also declares that our yearly visa renewal does not qualify as a report to immigration. Figure that one out. And there, this, there's a lot of detail in this. I would urge those watching this video, go check that out. Again, Immigration Games, Farang's Anonymous, uh, Thai, Bangkok Post. I'm sure it's in the online edition, but this is Bangkok Post print edition, December 19, 2020. And what he's talking about there is exactly what I'm saying. So he's saying, of course, 90 Day Report declares that our yearly visa renewal does not qualify as a report to immigration. And he means the 90 day visa reporting or 90 day address reporting, I should say. And I, I can't answer the reason why. It's probably not gonna make anybody happy because, but I often find that when people know why, they can at least deal with things a little bit better rather than it just seeming like sort of an arbitrary and capricious way of doing things. But long story short, the section of the Thai Immigration Act that does require 90 day address reporting is a different section from the section that pertains to extension of status in the kingdom. And for this reason, the way that it's interpreted by immigration authorities is these are two separate things. They don't have anything to do with one another in, in terms of one has, you know, they're mutually exclusive, for lack of a better term. You're either reporting on your 90-day report or you're dealing with your extension. They are not to be conflated. Do not confuse the two. They're two different things. Now, again, that's, that's kind of, I, th I would argue that that may be a little bit of a, you know, process of dealing in semantics, sort of parsing that out, but it is relevant and it is pertinent that th this is two seg separate segments of the Immigration Act and it deals with two policy issues that are kind of different from one another. One has to do with a person gaining increased lawful status and the other has to do with just address reporting. Now, I have said many times on this channel I think they could do something differently with respect to address reporting. I think the time frames could be dealt with a little bit differently rather than every 90 days, maybe every six months or something. That said, I'm not in a position to make those changes, but I hope this video provides some clarity as to why they don't view those two things as being essentially the same thing. So hopefully it will, if nothing else, lead to less frustration for folks down the road because they at least know why it's happening and they can kind of plan for it and deal with it accordingly.